Hi folks, it's me again. This updated novice video has a lot of new and minty fresh information. My hair is shorter and a lot more gray, but you can count on some things to never change. First of all, you have to register online. 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 And if you give me a few more minutes, I'll tell you about the rest of it. If you're watching this video, you're most likely signed up for our novice class for the next event. We're glad you registered online. This video is meant to help make your first event run smoothly. <laughs> on race day, you'll need to bring a few items with you. Your waiver with photo on your phone. Your filled out text sheet. A properly rated helmet. This is an SA2015 helmet that you can get on Amazon. And your mask. I made sure mine was race themed. We also ask that you bring closed-toed shoes. We also recommend that you bring water, snacks, sunscreen, a chair, and even an umbrella for comfort, because these help us from having hangry, sunburnt, coarse lobsters. Feel free to bring anything that you are willing to leave out in the paddock during the day. We will have paddock monitors to promote safety. However, for peace of mind, please leave any priceless heirlooms at home. If you have any questions about today's event, your car, your classing, or even about what everyone here had today for breakfast. Look for the Team Solo logo on our shirts. These mark our volunteers, and we're a solid 85% certain that they'll have an answer to your question. Remember, we're professionals. Each year, the Team Solo shirt color varies, but this year is the bright blue I'm wearing now. Upon arriving at the race venue, you'll need to join the registration line and put on your mask. When it's your turn, you'll pull up to the registration table. Our volunteers will ask to see your waiver on your phone and take your temperature, but they can only do this if you wear your mask. Throughout the day, you will need to wear your mask anytime you're within six feet of another person. If you do not follow these instructions, you'll be asked to leave. There is no wiggle room. Once you get the green light from our check-in volunteers, they'll point you to paddock. When you get to paddock, you'll need to park your car according to this diagram. Please notice that your car will also be social distancing itself from other cars. We don't want it to catch car Ona. Please be sure to leave enough space to unload your car and perform any work you may need to to pass tech. If you have any questions about teching your car, please refer to this video link to learn more. Hey chaps, Croc Hunter here. Today, we're going to be hunting for the rare prepared car. Quick, I think I see it. It's in its habitat. Oh, this is a real find. I bet we'll learn how to fail tech, definitely. Oh, look. It's marking its territory. Next, you'll need to go through the tech line for final inspection. When you're suitably convinced that your car will pass, Go ahead and line up for that. When you've passed tech, volunteers will point you towards grid or towards paddock according to your run group. Great. Now you're all tacked up and ready to race, right? Wrong. Now, you'll need to figure out where you're going. Can't have you all running over our volunteers after all. An announcement will be made from the timing trailer that the course is open for walking. For novices, we'll have special guided tours of the course by the novice chief in small groups. The first thing you'll encounter on your run is the course starting line. When it's your turn, you'll be directed to the starting line. A volunteer will wave you up to the right spot, and then when they give you the signal, and not before then, send it. But wait, send it where? That's a great question. The starting gate is marked by two orange cones on each side. You'll want to drive between these. Further out to the side of these, there'll be pairs of blue cones indicating the timing equipment. When you pass by the timing lights, your time starts. Please don't hit the blue cones, they're very expensive. During the course, you'll encounter gates and slaloms. A gate is indicated by two cones, which may or may not have a pointer cone accompanying them. If you miss a gate, your run is invalidated with the DNF. A slalom is indicated with a pointer cone on one side, 
indicating how to enter the solemn. Subsequent cones may or may not have pointer cones. The exterior of the course will be lined with flour. Just like they told us in kindergarten, stay within the lines. If it's your first run, don't be afraid to start slow. We'd rather you go slow and complete the course than race through and get a DNF. If at any point you lose the course, look for the corner couches with the red flags and listen for instructions. You may need to wave out the window at them to make sure they notice you and that you're lost. Remember there's someone behind you on course and that you need to be safe in the process. Please make sure you keep your car under control during your run. We don't want donuts. We don't want you to act like Ken Block in a Jim Kahana video. If you spin, both feet in. During your run, if you see the corner captains frantically waving a red flag, come to a controlled stop and wait for instructions. If you see a red flag, chances are something went wrong on course that may or may not be your fault, and coming to a stop ensures everyone's safety. If you're red flagged or your run gets interrupted, please make sure you leave the course through the exit timing lights to avoid timing errors for subsequent racers. Every racer is expected to do coursework. When a working course, you'll be assigned a corner to work. You may have seen a course worker running after a cone behind your car. Guess what? Now it's your turn. When you're on course, there are a few crucial expectations. First, always watch for cars. Cars are vicious predators that move like alligators. Don't run in a straight line or a serpentine motion. Make sure you run in a perpendicular line away from the car and keep an eye on the cars around you. You can also get near or behind an object. Your buddy does not count as a sturdy object. A sturdy object would be a light pole or other concrete barrier or over a curb. Once the car is passed, so the car that just passed hit a cone. Make sure the next car isn't right behind it. Once that car is passed, run, don't walk to the cone. If the cone is upright and inside the chalk box, then show a safe sign. If the cone is down or outside the chalk box, upright or not, show the out sign like in baseball. Make sure you show that out sign to the corner captain so he sees and can call on the penalty. Quickly place the cone back in the box so you can get out of there. Watch for cars as you do. Cars are spaced about 20 seconds apart and the next one will be shortly behind the first one so make sure you're doing this whole thing quickly. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, we want you to enjoy yourself and be safe. If you enjoy your first event, tell your family, bring your friends. Remember to have fun and be safe, and we'll see you there.